I want to just introduce you to something you can do today, uh, not on surveillance, but around the whole attitude of the UK's uh, government towards uh, child protection and censorship and so on, which is to go and look at blocked.org.uk. So we've been working very hard on this. Uh, Daniel particularly has been working very hard on behind the scenes coding up lots and lots of changes to this. So blocked.uk, uh, blocked.org.uk can now, you can now look up any filtering taking place on major networks in the UK. You can see all of the legal blocks uh, for copyright and trademark reasons. When you sit, you also get a prompt at the, speak, at the bottom to tell you, give you an example of a stupid block. And I have to say most of them are stupid, the ones we've got in our lists. Um, we're finding tons and tons of mistakes. Uh, so you can just like play a little bit of uh, prodding at the ISPs for what they're doing and file a few complaints. We're trying to see how well they deal with these complaints. We're trying to show to them that they're over blocking. And if we can show some of that, uh, we'll be able to push back at things like the fact that they block all the pubs in the UK to anyone under 18, uh, despite the fact there is no harm uh, in people visiting websites about pubs or real ale, for instance. Now, there's tons and tons of these things. But if you can today, just go to block.org.uk and file a call for a couple of complaints. Um, the ISPs will get their inboxes a bit clogged on Monday, and we'll see how well they do. Thank you. No, no you, you just do it. You just go. We do all the checking. This thing is fantastic. We're we'll talking about it tomorrow, but it checks. It does all the checks. You don't have to be a customer. You don't have to be a customer to file the complaint. You just see if it's blocked, and you file a complaint. Thank you.